Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, I have a bunch of free stuff to open up with you guys here today. A lot of goodwill uh, and stuff that was sent over to me uh, by various different parties. And so in this video, I'm gonna kind of open that up uh, with you guys, see what we got, some very, very cool things that I'm happy to share with you guys. And then, you know, in the spirit of all this goodwill, because the comic book community is so awesome, uh, you know, I wanna pay that goodwill forward. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna have an impromptu giveaway uh, to give back to you guys uh, for a book that I think, you know, is, is kind of relevant right now and uh, ties a little bit into one of the things that I'm going to be unboxing. Uh, so I think that uh, that'll be pretty fun overall. But before I get into the all the unboxings, if you guys drop me a like or comment or subscribe if you're enjoying the content, helps support the channel doing those things. I appreciate it. But let us get us in, into this video here today. And of course, the first one I got to open up is this is a very cool one. So uh, as you guys can see right here, it's a Gemini mailer in the um, markings of Torpedo Comics. And uh, this was actually really cool. I had gotten a message um, from Torpedo Comics on their Instagram, and they had just messaged me and said, hey, you know, Swaggle Haas, uh, really, really enjoy the channel. You know, shout out to you. Thank you so much for uh, doing what you do and supporting the community. Uh, we want to send you something. I immediately wrote back to them. I was like, oh, wow, that's thank you. That That's so nice of you guys. And then I instantly got a message back from them, and I was super excited to read it. And I saw that, you know, the red notification pop up of the messages, and I went in there, and it said, dear valued customer, in invoices must be directed to torpedocomics.com. And I quickly realized that it was an automatic made a response and it actually wasn't them responding to me. Uh, but then later on, they they did say, oh, sorry about the automated response. Yeah, here, uh, let me, let's me let get your address and let's send you over this thing. So here we have it right here in hand. Uh, they sent me something over and I got to assume guys, you know, uh, based on the packaging, this feels like it's going to be a comic book. So I'm super excited to open it up and, and see what they gave me. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool. Like a year ago, uh, I went to TorpedoCon that they usually have here in Los Angeles. Um, and I was looking forward to going again this summer. It was supposed to be at the end of the month, but I think due to certain uh, circumstances, they had to uh, postpone the show. I think it had something to do with like a venue conflict, which was uh, really disappointing because, you know, it was shaping up to be a really great show and I had bought a lot of really great books there and I was I was looking forward to see uh, you know what other kind of vendors and deals were gonna be at that show so hopefully uh, you know they're gonna be able to reschedule it at some point maybe later on this year or later in the summer uh, I'm still waiting back to get my signed books that I got done by Frank Miller and uh, uh, a few other the artists and, and writers at that show. I can't believe that you know it's taken a calendar year at CGC. My books are still at CCS. Oh my God, it's it's actually it's actually pretty crazy. It's actually kind of depressing to think about it. It's been it's been almost a year. It's been eleven months, guys. It's been eleven months. What am I talking about here? We got to open this package. What, what did I get inside? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, okay, okay. Pardon my French, but um, I think French is actually appropriate in this uh, situation. Oh, look at that. This is awesome. Hey, this is very, very cool. Look at this. They sent me stickers. I got stickers, guys. Spine stress and Torpedo Comics. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Obviously, they sent me a book, and this is a very cool one. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, some goodwill from uh, over the, the people over at Torpedo Comics sent me over this very cool book right here, the most valuable second appearance there is in all of comic books, Uncanny X-Men number 266, first real appearance of Gambit. Yeah, I said it. First real appearance of Gambit as a proud owner of X-Men 266, uh, I stand by the fact that this is 100% without uh, uh, any, any uncertainty. This is 100% the first appearance of this character. There is no other possible first appearances. This is the book that everyone should own. This is the book that everybody uh, should, should have in their collection. Um, this is very cool. I can't believe they sent this to me. This is so cool. Um, obviously, Torpedo Comics, they always have this thing on the back right here. They have it graded at an 8.0, a very fine. So... Very cool to, ha to have this book. Uh, this is actually a book that I had when I started collecting uh, early on. I, actually, my brother had this book, but over time, I don't know what happened to it. Uh, when I eventually got all his books back, I, I was looking through it and I couldn't find this one. So I don't know if he like sold it at some point. So I used to have this in my collection, uh, but it's been a while. So it's, I'm happy to have this back in here. And uh, look at that. It's actually a newsstand copy. The newsstand copies for this thing are really, really interesting. I'm personally not someone who... Um, 
has any desire to have newsstand copies, although they definitely command way more of a premium uh, than than the direct edition counterparts. In fact, you know, especially in this year, which is you know 1990, you know, I always talk about like the the cut the cutoff point for newsstands is kind of around that 1986 point, at least as far in terms of like what is more or less valuable. Um, so this is definitely a year where newsstands definitely start to matter. Um, you know, I got to say, guys, it does say right here on the cover. Enter the mutant called Gambit. I mean, how can you enter comic books if you, you know, have been there before? Clearly, he's never been involved in a storyline before if, in fact, this comic book says enter right here. This is obviously his very, very first appearance, um, but Uncanny X-Men 266, very cool. Thank you so much, Torpedo Comics. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, you guys can uh, get that... Uh, uh, con uh, going on again. I would definitely love to attend it, and I'm really, really hoping that um, you know we get get a chance get a chance to go. And I'll definitely make another video of that, like I did a year ago. Uh, all right, well, let's move, keep it moving here. Uh, this is another book that came from another great team, great members of the community. Uh, this is from Doug Bratton and Reggie Collects. I'm sure you guys, uh, if you guys watch my channel, I'm sure you guys watch Reggie Collects and. and uh, his channel over there. He's been obviously doing the comic book content for a long time. Uh, one of the OGs, one of the great YouTube channels. Uh, I remember watching Reggie when I first started. So he, he's done a lot of great work. But uh, this book right here was actually sent to me uh, by him and Doug. And this one says, Mickey, thanks for checking out our ash can. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Doug Bratton. Doug Bratton here is the writer. And uh, they had actually done their very, very first a publication of a book called Isolation. So this is just me kind of promoting some of that goodwill to you guys here in the community. Um, okay, I, I gotta be honest. I, I can't keep it up anymore, guys. I know I just showed you that I unboxed this book right here, but the truth is I already unboxed it. I, I, I repackaged it just to pretend like I unboxed it, but now I'm actually at the point where I have to talk about like I know what this book is about because I actually do know what it's about because I did actually read the book. But then I kind of felt myself go up against this wall where I'm like, wait a minute, how am I going to tell you guys that I've read this book even though I just showed you guys that I unboxed it? So the truth is uh, this one I did pre-unbox before I recorded this video. I know this whole thing is a sham. Here come the dislikes. This is not a true unboxing. The other ones are real unboxings. I genuinely did not know that they were going to send me that book. So this one right here I did get already for, from Doug and uh, Reggie. Uh, they have a very, very cool, um, what looks like a start to kind of like a mystery comic series. Definitely curious to see where it goes. You know, if you're someone out there who loves your kind of mystery sort of film noir aesthetics, uh, I think you're really, really going to like this one. And I think you can definitely pick them up right now uh, on ReggieCollects.com. So definitely go check it out. Big congratulations to him for uh, finishing this book and having them get it out. So I'm, I'm really happy to have this ash can right here. If you guys want to check it out, you want to support those people in the community, I mean, I think that that's really, really important. I mean, we got to support everybody in the community. Everybody who's doing things. Uh, we all love comic books. You know, we all love uh, uh, this hobby. We all love it. We all do different things, whether we're sellers, maybe we're creators, maybe we're writers, maybe we're artists, maybe we're aspiring, aspiring all of those things. And so uh, I think it's really important to support those people and, uh, you know, give them that encouragement. So definitely go go check them out. Uh, check out that, that book, which I think you can find on his store. Um, all right, this last book is, or this last package, I should say, is one that was sent to me uh, by Comic Ozzy and uh, also sort of Vancouver Comic Junkie, but really it's Comic Ozzy. Uh, shout out to Comic Ozzy. If you guys don't know about his YouTube channel, you should definitely go check it out. He does this thing uh, talking about, you know, supporting the community. Uh, he does this thing called Inside the YouTube Studio where he interviews a lot of members of the community and it's really great content. It's really great to get to know a lot of uh, the people in the comic book community. And uh, he actually sent me these, uh, these these bag and board packing materials. Uh, he had been talking to me about this and he, and he and Vancouver Comic Junkie swear by this stuff. So uh, really cool that he sent this over to me. So again, showing you guys, again, Comic Pro Line is not a sponsor of this YouTube channel. I don't have any affiliation to them. Uh, but he sent me over these Silver Age backer boards and bags right here. Uh, Vancouver Comic Junkie and uh, Comic Aussie swear by these things. So if you guys are out there looking for great Silver Age bag and board materials, uh, they say these are the best ones to check out. Definitely get the ultra thick 56 points and the two mil 
um, bags right here uh, for the Mylars. So thank you, Ozzy. Thank you, uh, Vancouver, for you know, sending this over. And thank you uh, to everyone uh, who sent me stuff here today. So, you know, this is really, really exciting. The comic community is great. Uh, at the start of the video, I talked about how I was going to do a giveaway. So I just pulled out a book. Uh, I feel bad now because, you know, <laughs> Torpedo gave me this uh this X-Men book right here. And uh, my book is not nearly as cool, although it's kind of cool. Uh, at least it relates to what uh, Doug had sent me over. But uh, the book that I'm gonna put out there is one that Doug and actually I think Reggie had talked about before. Uh, I've talked about other versions of this this type of book and this character, but this one, Wonder Man number one, is a book that is very, very hot right now uh, out there in the market. And you know, I just happened to have you know a couple extra in the boxes. I felt like, hey, why not give one away in this video here today? If you guys are still watching, you know, at the end of the video, you know, here, here's your chance to be rewarded. Uh, so, you know, uh, let's, let's have you guys do this. If you guys can just put uh, in the comments, uh, whatever you want, just, just write a comment, uh, but somewhere in your comment, include the name Simon or the word Simon. Obviously, Simon is the first name of Wonder Man. Uh, so just, just put Simon, uh, you know, somewhere in the comments, just, you can just say Simon, or you can say, uh, I love Wonder Man, Simon Williams, or I love Simon, or Simon Says, whatever you want to say, just put Simon in the comments. And then if you guys do that, I'll do a comment picker and I'll pick one of you guys and I will pay it forward, so to speak, and send you guys this book. Well, that's all for this video. That was me just kind of doing a you know Christmas morning over here at the Swaggle House residence. Uh, big shout out to everybody who sent me stuff. Uh, let me grab this thing again. Isolation, X Men, uh, 266, the true and only first appearance of Gambit and uh, these Comic Pro line bags and boards. Uh, that was uh, really awesome. Thank you guys all so much for sending this over. Uh, thank you guys for watching the channel and supporting. Uh, drop Simon in the comments. Uh, get a chance to win Wonder Man number one, and I will see you in the next video.